lot to be who you are and stand in your truth. You know what I'm saying? I want to ask you this, man. I don't even need you for it. But um, do you feel like, um, because I I don't know where I'm at with this, honestly. Do you feel like it's a gay agenda on the... uh, on our country, like, do you feel like? Cause I hear, I hear this a lot. Everybody say like, they're trying to uh, de demasculinize uh, our men. Oh, you, this man is asking some real shit. No, that's you don't my think opinion. so? No, because I feel like, and my friend shaking his head saying, "Yes, I don't agree." That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't agree, and the reason I don't agree is because as a young boy, I had two straight parents. I seen them kiss. I seen them be in love. I seen them hold hands, and that did not make me want a woman at all. I've never been with a woman. I don't desire for one second of the day to be with a woman. So I'm going to ultimately have my own mind. So don't think just because you see something on the TV screen of two men kissing that your son is going to automatically be gay. If you're not raising him in that aspect of being gay and you raise him as a straight man, then your parenting and what the fuck you got going on with your son, that should be enough. They've been pushing the straight agenda for years. Since I was a little boy, all I've seen was straight people all i seen was straight couples so i guess a lot of times it's kind of like shaking an envelope mm. i live for it. everybody is entitled to their own opinion which i respect i get it because i'm a non-biased person or at least i try to be that way but i think i love the fact that they shake the envelope i love the fact that the street niggas know who Lil Nas is. The street niggas know who Santana is. As much as they may not want to admit it, they know what the fuck going on. They see it, and it's because these labels and these companies is like, push that shit in their motherfucking face. They've been pushing this shit long enough and make them eat it. And that's how I see it. Like, it's, it's so many gay men out there. It's so many young gay men that are looking for that ideal person that they can see themselves in. Mm. I remember being a little boy. I didn't too much see a lot of black gay men represented. Even in the Latino community, I don't see a lot of Latino people being represented and they doing better at that as well. So I think a lot of times people feel like it's an agenda because they're putting it in our faces. Mm. But I think it's just, they're doing more so now of just showing like what the reality of the situation is. No, on the commercials, no, it's not just a mother and father at home. It's couples out there that are husband and husband. It's people out there who have wives and wives. So. I think they're just doing a a, 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 a a situation of putting it in people's face to see what it really so is. So honestly, we could say they're trying to normalize it, but a lot of times uh, people look at trying to normalize gay as a bad thing when, like you said, they were normalizing men straight from the beginning of the time. Absolutely. Um, what I will say is I think um, we do need more straight men to stand up for gay men, right? And it might sound weird to my homies probably looking at me like, this nigga's gay, but I mean, you feel me? I, I say that because... When I was coming up, my mom used to always say, if you were gay, I would love you the same, but you're not going to stay in my house. She said that. So as a straight man, I came up saying like, yo, no, nah, I don't have no problem with gay men. And if my son was gay, I would love him, but he couldn't stay in my house. That's what I, that generation of cribs, right? I'm not going to lie. I watched a, a podcast, I Am Athlete, with uh, um, Dwayne Wade, and he was saying how he embraced his son being gay and why he embraced him being gay. And I was like, damn, imagine being a child and your parents not loving you the same because you different. And I'll never forget, I'm like, at that moment, I thought to myself like, yo, that's special. And if he changed my perspective on it. And I'm like, yo, if I have a child and he turns out gay, I'm gonna love him the same. He can stay with me all that, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I do believe that if we get more influential straight men, like, I don't know, like, talking about it, speaking about it, being comfortable in their own mm-hmm. skin, it would open it up. Yes, for it would. That is facts. Yeah. That is facts. And that's why even when it comes down to Boosie, mm. l- like, again, I'm from Savannah. They love Boosie in Savannah. Nigga, I'm from L- Baltimore. He's our godfather. I swear to God. They it's weird. Love He's our godfather. Boosie in Savannah. And I know for a fact, Boosie is not homophobic. Yeah. I know Boosie's not homophobic. But the things that he say is so dangerous because it's like, we need a nigga that's gonna be like, man, that shit don't, it ain't got shit to do with me. And, and, and real niggas respect that shit. That, that don't have nothing to do with me as long as you not doing it to me, as long as you not making me feel some type of way. What you got going on has nothing to do with me. So it is very important. It is, but, and that shit would change a lot but, because niggas is followers. Niggas yeah. is fine. Fo- That's all they people do in is general. follow. Yeah, yeah. People in general, but mainly niggas too. They are followers. So they're going to follow. If they homeboy got an issue with it, even if they don't have an issue with it, they follow him. They don't give a fuck. 
it, it, it don't, it's just in their blood. It's, it's, it's bad. Who Niggas see? is following us. Don't kill me for this if you see this. But it's, it's almost fair to say that, like, what Boosie, because when you say what he says is dangerous, it's almost fair to say that what Boosie doing and what the gay community doing is one of the same as far as pushing the envelope, right? Uh -huh. Like, gay people, what they do is dangerous every day. You put your life on the line at risk every day. Uh huh. Boosie being so in tune with himself, not giving a fuck what nobody think, is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. everybody can't do that. You get on media, so many people are scared to say how they really feel. Yes, that's true. Boosie ain't one of them. That's true. You feel me? Same me either. With, right, but that's why I say that. Mm -hmm. 